They will be holding those up in a little bit. They have different messages on them. So those will be seen in a little bit. Or various portions. There may be some chanting going on later. That's you know, it's all part of a rally. So there's going to be a little noise. And the kind of noise that I hope you'll enjoy.
tripped on some ethics rules. I hate those things. Well, here we are. Thank you for being here. I want to introduce some people that are very special. And I want to let you know that they are in the front row because they are the special people. And, and oh, wait, wait. I, we're going to be talking about dirty money today. I got to put on my gloves. <laughs> the money is very dirty, but that's what we're celebrating today. It's the first annual, but not the last, Dirty Money Awards. Now, ooh, there's extra people here. All I care about are these people here. Can the rest of you kind of move back? There's this wafting of democracy coming up here. People in the front over there on, yeah. the, on that side of the Ew, red I carpet. <laughs> they you know, are these are the only people in this little bit of I, uh, I do street love theater in the rotunda. I love to count. I love to count. Well, you know, when I say these are very important people, they're, they're VIPs, you know. They're VIPs. That's because they're virtually impossible people to contact unless you're someone like me. Because, you know, I got the money I'm counting out. They got the money they're counting out. We're just one big happy family. Well, I'm going to introduce these great people in the front row here. And the rest of you just kind of, can you kind of be quiet? Because this is real important. Because I like Listen to me when I call. Um, now what we have here is we have our sponsors, I mean, <laughs> our honorees, and um, they're going to stand up when I call their name. We have the Farm Bureau. Our winner 
Rodriguez, Representative Linda Upmeyer. Playing the role of Representative Buckmeyer, not actual Buckmeyer herself. Wow! I won! I won! I have so many corporations to thank for this award. I'm the House Majority Leader. Thank you. 
and help, you know, let those workers know exactly where they stand with us here in Iowa. I mean, automation's on the way. <laughs> well, here's our nominees. Iowa Restaurant Association, Master Builders of Iowa, and Iowa Retail Association. And the winner is Master Builders. I just uh, like to thank the Iowa Legislature, folks like uh, Mike Ronstall and Frank Paulson, and and of course for what has been a truly beautiful and gratifying, and dare I say, a intimate partnership. These are fearless champions of the interests of big business, folks like me. Fighting back against the greedy masses, whining about their wages when they should be grateful. Special friends like Gronstall and Paulson, Linda, truly understand that in this day and age, money is speech. Corporations are people. And together, we will make Iowa great again. Thank you. I, I tell you, there's, there's just nothing better than being among my VIPs. Well, that ends again our first day start of many, and what we're looking at today,
this last election made two things very clear. First of all, everyday people are sick of establishment, business as usual politicians. But we know that Terry Grandstad, Kim Reynolds, Donald Trump, our legislators are delivering more policies that simply entrench their own power and don't represent everyday people. The second thing we learned is that common sense issues that we advocate for one, down ballot and across party lines. Voters all over this country, voters in red states, voted to raise the minimum wage. They voted to ban fracking to protect our water. And they voted to get big money out of politics. We know that people across the country want the same thing we do. And we're going to fight like hell for those things here in Iowa today. One of the groups that's leading the national fight is Our Revolution. And we have an organizer from Our Revolution who came all the way up to Iowa to be with us today. Please welcome Juliana Delora. And then we also have to be very, very cognizant of the fact that we 
know, he's coming out hard against immigrants. He's threatening to deport and separate families. The fear that they feel is real and it's palpable. You know, he's, he's talking about reinstating the Salvador of Frisk of, of the Muslim registry. Those are terrible attacks on our civil rights, and we shouldn't take them lightly. And I just want to close off with a quote that, uh, you know, I'm sure many of you have heard, but I feel like in this time, it's so poignant to keep this in mind. This is a quote by Martin Neimoller, and he says, The fir first they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. So we have to make it very clear to the Trump administration, if you come for one of us, you come for all of us. Thanks, Juliana. All right, first of all, how many of you know that you can follow us on Twitter? At CCI Action, using the hashtag IA Resist. IA Resist in Iowa. So then, um, if you want to do that, action throughout the day, tweet it out, let people know that you're here, standing up for justice. And let me tell you, we are standing up for justice. We've got a big vision for our state on all of the issues you see around the stage here. One of those issues is fighting the Bakken Pipeline. is not an issue that can be fought at the legislative level. But don't worry, because we have a very exciting no dabble action planned for this afternoon. You need to get the return by when? 1.30! Okay. That's so, so fun. a big legislative priority for us this year that is happening in the legislature is the minimum wage. We know that the minimum wage in Iowa, $7.25 an hour, is nothing less than a poverty wage. This year, three other counties, Wapolo, Lynn, and Polk, joined Johnson County in raising the wage, and now wages for over 100,000 Iowans are moving closer to that living wage of $15. And let me tell you, we know that raising the wage is only a good thing. It's good for our workers. When people make more, they stay in jobs longer. They rely on safety net programs less, and they are healthier, and they are happier. It's good for our families. When parents don't have to work multiple jobs, they can spend time with their families. And students, we don't have to work jobs to support our household, and instead we can focus fully on our education. It's good for business in Iowa. When working folks have more money in their pockets, what do they do? They turn around and spend it. That means economic growth for large and small businesses in Iowa. It's good for our communities, lower poverty, mm -hmm. less crime, and healthier and happier communities. And that's what we want. Mm -hmm. A minimum wage preemption bill would take away the raises those counties have given their constituents, and it would lower our wages. It would drop wages back down to seven dollars and twenty-five cents. has failed us year after year on this issue and now they want to prevent county supervisors from having local control of the minimum wage. Let me tell you, we will fight against any bill that undoes all that work and those hard-earned raises across the state and we are going to push for that bill of a living wage of $15 an hour across the state. Another big issue that we're fighting for here is Water. Who wants clean water? Give it up for Nick Shu. He's a clean water fighter from Alden, Iowa. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick Shu, third generation farmer from Alden, Iowa. Do we have a water crisis in this state? Yeah! We sure do. 754 impaired waterways flow through the state of Iowa. Too many. For decades, corporate ag has been polluting our air, water, and our land in nearly zero regulations 
resulting in the water crisis we have now. Governor Branstad said on Iowa Press, quote, a good leader is a good listener. He's failed to listen to the people of Iowa. Big Ag is doing fine. They are a $112.2 billion industry in Iowa. Yet we are seeing small towns dying as businesses are closing and population is declining. If this is such a great industry for Iowa, why are we seeing Main Streets closing up shops? Why are we seeing population decline as I've seen four school districts close or consolidate my area? As they make more and more money, including our resources, they turn around and put that money back into the political system to lobby for even less regulations. Shame on you guys. We want a moratorium on factory farms. No new expanded construction until we get the problem under control. For factory farms that already exist, we want a more uh, mandatory regulations that are strongly enforced, and not voluntary re regulations that allow the industry to continue polluting like normal. We want a true local control policies that allow counties to make decisions about factory farms that are best for their communities. And as far as the clean water we already do have, should the taxpayers have to pay for the mess we did not create. No! No, should not. The polluters should pay to clean the mess that they created. And they clean it off of it. And not the taxpayers like us who are already paying higher rates for water as a result of corporate ag. We must put people before profits and polluters. Water is life. And that means folks from lots of generations. And that includes folks from my generation, students. And we have a powerful group of students here today. We have students from the University of Iowa, from Iowa State, from DMAT, from Trey, and from Cornell. These students are leading the fight on a lot of these issues, and I want to to welcome one of these students here today, Sammy Varner.
I want to make one thing very clear to legislators in this state house. We will speak up and fight against any policy at this state house that is racist. And to talk about that here today, give it up for CCI board member Vanessa Marcano Kelly. Hello, my name is Vanessa Marcano Kelly. I'm an immigrant from Minnesota. And I am, man, these days, I am very proud to be a member of Iowa CCI Action. We just laid out 
this broad, progressive, powerful resistance agenda. And what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna go share it with the governor and the soon-to-be governor, Reynolds. Keep your signs with you and we're gonna follow CCI Action staff right down the hall to the governor's office to tell them what kind of Iowa we want. Thank you. Thank you. 
Day 
and as participants in the National Truck Resistance Day of Action. Right. Our message to you and to President Trump is the same. We need a government of, by, and for all people, not big money corporations. Across the country, people want clean water, living wages, racial justice, Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in. No, the chanting, everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Counties and cities across the state are taking up these issues and leading where you and the legislature have failed us over and over again. We're here today because water is life. Stand with me. Now, Channing, water, water is, is life. life. Water is life. Water is life. Water is life. Water is life. We need agricultural, environmental, and climate justice. We must put people and planet before profits and polluters for us, our kids, and our grandkids. That's right. Say no more to big oil companies and corporate ag. We need mandatory regulation. their destruction, not us. They dump it, we drink it, we won't stop to the clean it up. They dump it, we drink it, we drink it, we won't stop to the clean it up. They dump it, we drink it, we won't stop to the clean it up. We're here today because living wages are good for our workers, our families, our businesses, and our communities. Raise the minimum wage to a living wage of at least $15 an hour. Yeah. Higher wages if they want to. No wage preemption. That's right. Living wage now. Wage Living wage, wage now. Living 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 wage now. That have been passed in four counties and some cities. We're here today because democracy needs more people involved, not less. We need universal voter registration, That's not right. voter ID suppression. That's right. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, no one out. Page two. <laughs> Should have had that ready. <laughs> Get big money out of politics through publicly financed elections with small dollar contributions that come from actual everyday working people. Money out, people in. 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 We're here today because we must stand for racial justice. No racism and no more hate. No racist, no KKK, no fascist USA. 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 Stop feeding the prison industrial complex. Make racial profiling illegal in the state of Iowa. No tax on people of color in the form of stand your ground legislation. That's right. And deputize the police to act as ICE agents. Right. ICE is Immigration and Customs Governor Enforcement. Governor Branstad, Kim Reynolds, and President Trump. We're sick and tired of business as usual politics. We're sick of you putting our money, putting big money ahead of our everyday people, our land, our water, our wages, our votes, and our very lives. If you want to pursue an agenda that destroys our planet, sinks us deeper into poverty, suppresses us, and criminalizes people of color, we will resist you at every turn. We are unstoppable. Another we are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are Sincerely, 
Iowa CCI action members. This. You don't always get to hear from constituents like us because Brandon said doesn't like to, to meet with us. So we want to make sure yeah. we're here. I would dispute that, but yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Whoever, whoever you are. Fair enough. Really quick. And if you don't mind, say where you're from and why you're here. I'm Larry Gibbons. Wow, Larry. I'm Larry Gibbons. 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 I'm Larry and uh, is any kind of law in the any kind of law. No more serves! No more serves! Hi. No more last year serving Iowans, teaching Iowans, and I paid $933 in taxes and I'm proud of it. Yep. Taxpayers do have a seat at the table, they're workers. That's right. And somebody should tell this governor too if he wants to go for a Wisconsin style attack. There's another person who already disagreed with him who said Wisconsin, quote, has a much worse situation. Governor Scott yes, Walker governor of Wisconsin who pretty much you know put the squash on the, the state let employees union. And if somebody the, should also tell him that if he rights? wants to have an election for all 1,205 units in this state, he's going to have three to four elections a day. That's a costly venture, and somebody should notify him that he's going to be spending taxpayer money on that, too. But taxpayers do see at the table. He wants to tilt the law so that it's tilted against workers. That's right. Right. I guess he's cowed by the negotiation abilities of me, a 26-year-old kid with no legal training and no negotiating training. Yeah. Yeah.
their mattress. <laughs> Going into the stairs. being a bit of a, a physical troll. Don't forget to be counted, sir. That's true. Who exactly is counting this? We are. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. We don't it does. Do you respect women? You guys are all chained and yelling, and now... Show them respect. Be quiet. We have one finger on the phone. We have one finger on the phone. He's talking to himself. He apparently is in support of the Planned Parenthood defending bill. I 
giving you a look around. Oops, sir. That's okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to spin too fast. So, over 100 people. 108, 109. 110. 110. So, when you say a number, drop your hand. 112, 113, 114, 115, 150? There you go. my purse. <laughs> <laughs> waiting to adopt? In the there could be 200 people up here. I'm, I'm going to say there are 200 people up here. There are people up on their steps up there to help them out sit in I think he's got a little cough right with him. He's owned. Yeah, he's owned. Oh, yeah. Ahead of time. So you're the murderer, not the mom. Is that okay? No, it's not Up to 240. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess 250. Uh, yell the numbers loud. Is that two up to 250? Are we 250? He's a physical troll. What? He's a physical troll. I think we're at least two. I'd say 250. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, still counting, so about 250. We could be 300. I think we could hit 300 up here. There are more people up downstairs who cannot get up here, so... I am going to, I am going to guess 300. They're either up here or on the steps that are leading up here.
Jesus. With our children. Um, we are the funds. No yeah, max height. HPV is human papillomavirus. Women's health is what you stand up here. Yeah, my. Who are you? This is exciting. 
advancing women's rights.
those who can't. I wonder how long that's expected to last. Yeah. Hi, how are you today? Good, glad you're here. Well, I think I might go back down. I think I might wait, make my way back down the stairs. Excuse me, honey. Good luck to you. I'm gonna go back downstairs to uh, to get ready for the big picture because I want to shoot it too. After the meeting is over, there's a group picture of this group in the rotunda. I'm going downstairs to uh, to uh, get ready for it. So pass it around. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a tight squeeze up here. In fact, like whales in the sardine can. You guys, this is Kayla. Yeah. She's amazing. Hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna go downstairs and get ready for the the group picture. So. She is one of the Like you, how it works is you say mic check real loud and then people repeat the back. After the meeting, move to Rotunda. Go to Rotunda. After the meeting. Yeah, I'm going back down there so I can get ready for that. Rotunda. Because I want to shoot the Rotunda. After the meeting. Big group picture of this group in the Wakanda. <laughs> the count was at least 300, including you standing on these steps. <laughs> yeah, so after the meeting, the big group picture of this group in the Wakanda. here and do a group picture of this group. Oh wow. But I want to come back back down here so so I can be down here and ready when they do come back down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get out of your way from You're the perfect. Shot. Get in there. No, I want to That's good. Here. I'm live streaming. 
So there's a, there's another guy streaming over there. I don't know what platform he's using, but that's why we're by the governor's office. I'm thinking, dang, I wish I could split myself. <laughs> yeah. But then one of the other CCI members said that someone else was going to be streaming over there. So, ugh, cool. women there. I think I'm going to go grab a drink of my coffee. I'm breaking from the group because I need a drink of my coffee. up some, some of the signs at the tables. I wait for the subcommittee meeting on the Planned Parenthood bill to end. And there are people at these tables, these are CCI staff and volunteers. And I'm going to come over to this web, which is lot four. A close up of some of the messages on this web. All black lives, that was written in pen, so some. There's the economy. There's a peace sign below that. This is the web that people are putting their notes on. I put one on earlier. I'm going to plant it right there and I'm going to take a picture of this thing. on there, there's still some open strings left on that web. Now I'm going to go back over here. Bill meeting.
like I went and grabbed a few slips of my coffee and I popped a few pictures of uh, that uh, message web that's over by the CCI tables. Do you work there? Uh, I don't work there, but yeah, I'm a supporter and uh, a paid member. It was a sacrifice for me to do it, but I did it. So I just went and shot a few pictures over there. Uh, that message web that that's pretty full. There's still some spaces people can still uh, clip stuff to it. So, but it's full. It's getting full. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. Cutie alert! You're so cute. Did you drop that? Well, somebody did. Wake my coffee. <laughs>
Jack has adjusted. He took her a little while to adjust. You know, she lived in that condo for 12 years. I had her when she, I got her when she was five weeks, so. My cat. Well, I lived 12 years in that condo, and I had her for 12 years. So I brought her to the apartment, so it took her a little while to adjust. Five-week-old run of a kitten. She's stayed small. She's only about seven pounds, but I love that cat. Tuxedo cat, you know. Black and white, all the right places. Uh, doesn't look like people... Too many people are coming down. I think they may be coming down for either yeah, they just need to get out of the crowd or they want to go talk to other people. So I took some pictures of the people up there on the steps. Lighting is bad. I got too much overhead lighting above me, so I'll move over here, get a better get away from these lights. See the people up on the steps. I aim up. There we go. A lot of. There's at least 350 in this side. A few others are going up. Again, for those just joining me, this is Occupier Kaylin. I know yeah, where this needs to go next. Yeah, my hands. All right. Been downstairs before? Uh huh. Okay, so. Some people are breaking off and going to yeah. get lunch. So the time is now. Oh, uh, I watch this quarter to 12. My phone says 11.43. So my watch is a little ahead of phone time because. I do that so I don't miss buses, but today I don't want to have to worry about the buses because I just walk here. They are still standing up there. Let's 
still going on up there? Whatever's going on, I have no idea. Oh, it's a oh, standing sub, ground, sub, subcommittee meeting on the defunding the Planned Parenthood bill. figure out what's it looks like it might still be going on because uh, otherwise everybody would just be flooding down these steps I think I might uh, so this is a lunch break period I think I just might take my stream down and archive this because there will be something real fun in the afternoon but I'll stay up here, so whenever they do that group, group picture of, of the group uh, you know, opposing the Planned Parenthood bill, I want to be ready to grab that picture, you know, that group picture when they do that. So I'm going to capture some of this for a little bit. Something. I'll have to check into that later. They're discussing corporate money, the Koch brothers. trying to buy off our government at all levels from federal on down to the local. Uh, 
they're talking about voter suppression and the voter ID law, which would disenfranchise those who either do not have an ID. There's a senator here who says that. If a, a college student wants to vote, they have to establish residency and get a state ID and have an address other than a dorm. There could be college students who do not have IDs, even though they're natural born citizens, through no fault of their own. And also, felons do not have the right to vote even after they have served all their prison time, paid all the restitution if they owed any, uh, done the community service if they had to, you know, if they fulfilled all the requirements put on them by a judge, they can s still be denied the right to vote. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and take my stream down, find some free food somewhere. I think there's might be some bagels around here somewhere. I'm going to archive this and then take a break, get my phone rest, and then uh, be back up later on. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the streams.